Hi, my name is Antonio Stach. I teach the economics of regulation at the Université Libre de Bruxelles in Belgium. I also conduct research in this field. Uh, most of my research is financed by the chair Bernard Van Abeslag, who is also financing this book, by the way. Before coming to Brussels, I spent 25 years at the World Bank. Most of my job there was to help countries set up regulatory agencies, design regulation, prepare contracts between the public sector and private firms for delivery of public services. So the idea basically of the MOOC is to, to give you a chance to teach you the theory, but at the same time to use my experience to, to illustrate how this theory works in practice. It is quite important in real life. I don't know if you've ever thought about it, but if you look at your water bill, your electricity bill, your phone bill, or if you think about how much you're paying when you take the train, for instance, there's a lot of theory behind the prices that you're paying. There's a lot of theory behind the quality of the services that you're getting. So one of the things that I'm hoping to do is to teach you what this theory is all about. If you think about serious social issues, for instance, like the, the needs of the poor. I don't know if you know this, but I mean, a big part of the poverty uh, characterization is the fact that they don't have access to public services very often. So, well, regulation helps us think through how to target properly subsidies to make sure that the poor are not excluded from public services. And a growing field of research and practice, unfortunately, as well, is the extent to which corruption is relevant in this field. Again, theory has been has been helping us think through the ways in which we can minimize the risk of corruption. So all of those things are part of what I'm hoping you will see at the end of this class is relevant from this theory. So in practice, basically what I'll try to do is, um, is to try to achieve three objectives. Hopefully, at the end of this class, you will understand first why it's important to think about regulation. Okay. The second thing is how to pick different types of regulatory options that you can think of as you're thinking about regulating. And the final objective that I have is to make sure that you have a sense for the real life tools which are being used by regulators and operators to interact when they negotiate uh, uh, you know, the price that will be set probably or the investment timing and, and levels that need to be imposed on these operators. So who should be interested in this class? The most obvious candidates are students in economics who are interested in regulation, third year students and maybe master students who have advanced theory classes who need to have a feeling for the practice of regulation, but also people taking classes in public policy. It's a major issue in public policy. People taking classes in development economics, major issue in development economics. And finally, professionals, new regulators, uh, NGOs, any other type of stakeholder interested in learning about how to think through regulation in theory and how to learn lessons from best practice are probably going to be interested in this class as well. So you see there's a lot to be done. Um, I'll do this in eight sessions. I also have a few guests. Every week I'm going to have a guest. Um, so you'll have a different perspective or a complementary perspective on what I'm teaching. Uh, and hopefully uh, you also go through the readings that I'm recommended. So if you stick with me for these eight lectures and my guests, I guess, and if you do the readings, I'm pretty sure you will learn a few things which I think are useful as part of this class. And, uh, and most importantly, I hope that you'll have some craving to learn even more. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.